Hello YouTube family and welcome to another episode of This and That. Yes it is, your boy Rosie, your soon to be number one YouTube host. Alright family, this is going to be a continuation of our series with the hot logic, what it can and can't do. Y'all do realize that these are episodes. Episodes meant to help, right? All right, family. This episode is going to be a little bit different than our normal uh, Hot Logic series. We know that what we're doing today that the Hot Logic will do. Now, let me give you a little background. The reason I came up with what we're doing today is I currently have two of my adult granddaughters kind of in and out of the house for the summer. One of them is a college student and she's taking the summer off to come hang out with Papa and Grandma. And the other one has just become a police officer here in a local parish in the Louisiana area. We're so proud of both of them. Yes, uh, one more so than the other. I anyway, all right, family. What I've come up with, and I've done this before, and I like sharing things with y'all that I've done uh, or that came to my brain and that I think that will help us the episode. All right, family, without further ado, let's get started. All right, it's summertime. And that's why I mentioned my granddaughters. And I know a lot of y'all out there are parents or grandparents. And this is what I've come up with to help us. All right, family. Y'all stick around for this part right here. This is going to be a pro tip. And I'm going to save this to the very end. All right, we're going to sit that right here. All right, now, family, what we have is six of these small containers. And I think these are six by three inch containers, six inches by three inch containers. And what I do is I take this, the Hot Logic family size will hold six of these containers. They're a little bit tight, but they fit fine. You're able to zip it up, unzip it. And y'all excuse this. Y'all know my stuff. My Hot Logic has been through miles and miles of treacherous usage because I don't have anything on this channel that I don't use frequently. All right, family, what we have right here is, and the contents don't really matter, it's the concept. All right, what we have here is corn. And I got cream corn in this one. I think I got uh, like a hamburger stew. What's in this one? That is a like a hamburger stew, or you can use a hamburger helper. And all of these are leftovers. Uh, you know that the summer is holidays. We got uh, fall, we just Memorial Day just passed. We got Father's Day coming up, uh, 4th of July. And what I'm using here is leftovers. But if it's not a holiday, you don't have leftovers, what you can do is on the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, you can prep. And if you gotta go to work Monday through Friday, the kids have something to eat while you're at work. Now, and these two I have, uh, I think, a double helping of green beans. And this one I have, ah, this is my meat. This is actually fajita meat, fajita chicken meat, and that's my meat source. I try to keep it really simple and really easy where we're not standing over the stove. And since we only had vegetables left from the holidays, I used a packet of fajita meat that I already had in order to fill the void for the meat. And in here, I think we got like a, a soup or a stew. Now, like I said, it's not about the ingredient, it's about the concept. Hot logic, 165 degrees. I leave this on all summer long. You heard me right. We can leave this on all summer long. Prep your food on Saturday, Sunday, refrigerated, refrigerated leftovers. Six by three, or whatever the measurements is on that container, put your ingredients in, cover it with aluminum foil, put it in the hot logic. Kids get hungry, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 
They come in, they take a sample of the green beans. They take a sample of the casserole. They take a sample of the soup. They take a sample of the fajita chicken or ground beef or a meatloaf. This makes a nice little individual meatloaf as well. They take what they need. There's probably enough in here to last, say, two kids, uh, two adults, four, probably at least for one whole day, possibly two days. Now, when you finish, say, the cream corn runs out, you go get another container of cream corn, replace it, or you go get candy yams, replace it, and you can just keep this rotating all summer long. Think about that, family. You cook or you go hard one day out of the week, Saturday, Sunday, and you're prepared for the entire week. So you really don't have to meal prep. You meal prep that one day, if that's what you want to call it, but then the hot lot, it takes care of the entire week. Now, I told y'all at the beginning of the video, I had a pro tip. Those of you who have the hot logic, some of you may have tried this before, some of you may not. Anytime I have cornbread or anything like that, or rolls or anything of that nature, simply take it, take your cornbread, put it in an aluminum foil, leave it open, sit it on top of your trays, close it. And I'm telling you, this has been on for about an hour now. That cornbread is warm to the touch. It's not piping hot, but it's warm. You can even take this, put your little spray on butter on top of it. Now, while it's cooking or while it's warming or as you eat it. And this keeps your bread warm and moist on top of the hot logic. That's your pro tip. All right, family. Been a quick down and dirty video, but I think this is going to help. Y'all, especially if your parents, uh, grandparents, or just a worker who wants to prep, and we're going to call it prepping, on the weekend, and you don't want to be over a hot stove Monday through Friday. The hot lodge is going to be our best friend this summer. This hot lodge is going to stay on this counter probably about 70 to 75% of the summer. When people walk in, my granddaughters, when Lady Red comes in, myself, my other grandson, my daughter, they can go right over here. One other pro tip. You can take a magic marker or a little sticky note or whatever, and you can put on the top of each one of those to tell them what it is. Or you can leave a little menu or a little diagram off to the side so everybody knows what's in each container. As you change the container out, you change out green beans for uh, candy yams, scratch it out, put that in its place. So everybody knows what's in each container. If they don't like that particular item, then they can take it and they don't have to open it, let the heat or the steam out, and let that rest. All right, family. Woo-hoo! Want another one of your boys' brain children? I'm not a genius. And for those of you who think that I think I am a genius, you're right. I, I do think I, a lot of my ideas are genius. Anyway, family, if y'all enjoyed this brief video, y'all give your boy a thumbs up. And y'all stay tuned. We got some more good stuff coming. I got a Father's Day video coming up, like I mentioned in the past, that I think is going to be awesome and give y'all some good Father's Day ideas and get y'all off them socks. All right, family, y'all take care. Y'all have a good one. And I will see y'all in the next video. It's your boy, Rosie. Peace.